Happy Go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. You have succeeded in deceiving Igbos. Uriwa to Buari. You have succeeded in deceiving Igbos. Uriwa to Buari. So, my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Oriwa, has criticized the government of the President Muhammad Buhari, saying the President has succeeded in deceiving Indigo. The group was reacting to the government's decision to shift the completion date for the multi-billionaire Second Niger Bridge from October 2022 to the first quarter of 2024. Oriwa's National Coordinator, Emmanuel Wumbiko, said the postponement of the completion date of the vital bridge linking Delta and Anambra State shows that the Buhari regime is not sincere with Indibu and the people of Southeast Nigeria. The group said, despite the many promises and assurances of the Buari administration that it will complete the second Niger bridge before May 2023, the present government has failed the Southeast. Uriwa said Buari completed scores of multi-million dollar project. He started in his hometown in Daura, Katsina State, but can't deliver just the second Niger Bridge for Southeasterners. The All Progressives Congress had started the construction of the bridge five years ago but it is now certain that it won't deliver it before leaving office in May 2023 as the acting Federal Controller of Works in Anambra State, Shea Mathins, who quoted a news report as saying, the project with a total length of 11.9 km won't be complete until the first quarter of 2024. Commenting, Uriwa's Omubiko said, This shift shows that President Muhammad Buhari simply gambled with the Southeast and sold cheap propaganda to try to score cheap popularity over the political rivals in People's Democratic Party. It is now clear that this second Niger bridge has become a circus show by successive president against the Southeast and virtually all the past and present president have used that second Niger bridge for political gimmicks, but the current president took this gimmickry to a new height by promising that it will be completed in 2022. December only for Nigerians to wake up a few days back to back to be told that the bridge won't be completed until 2024. Whereas the government has introduced dry port in Kano and Kaduna, the same government refused to dredge the Oguta Lake. This is a typical demonstration of the hatred the president abhors against Indibo 
which he even exposed in 2015, during his maiden visit to the White House, when he said he will give infrastructure to only those who give him vote, 95% versus 5% vote, meaning he will develop the North first before all others and he has done more than that by borrowing to build the Kano Maradi Railway to the Niger Republic, which cost 1.9 billion Naira dollars. In fact, Buhari's hometown in Daura, Katsina boasts of many dividends of democracy, such as the Nigerian Air Force Reference Hospital, Nigerian Air Force Quick Response Unit, Federal University of Transportation, Daura Township Stadium, 171 Battalion of the Nigerian Army, Federal Polytechnic, Daura, the school for people with special needs, Daura. The Nigerian Air Force Response Air Wing Quick Response Unit, Daura. The Nigerian Army 171 Battalion Base, Daura. The forwarding operating base of the Nigerian Army along Congolam Road, Daura. The National Directorate of Employment Center, Ganga, Daura. Upgrade and expansion of Daura Mini Stadium, the Sustainable Development Goal Skills Acquisition Center, Zango Road, Daura, amongst others. Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Koriwa, has criticized the government of the President Mokomo Dubuari, saying the President has succeeded in deceiving Indigo. The group was reacting to the government's decision to shift the completion date for the multi-billion Naira Second Niger Bridge from October 2022 to the first quarter of 2024. Uriwa's National Coordinator Emmanuel Wumbiko said the postponement of the completion date for the vital bridge linking Delta and Anambra state shows that the Buari regime is not sincere with Indigo and the people of Southeast Nigeria. The group said despite the many promises and assurances of the Buari administration that it will complete the second Niger bridge before May 2023, the present government has failed the Southeast. Uriwa said Buari completed scores of multi million dollar project. He started in his hometown in Daura. Katsina State Bokant deliver just the second Niger Bridge for Southeasterners. So, my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section.